Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. District Collector Ravindra Chakri has constituted District Level Task Force to study the various aspects related to Bicromycosis disease whose patients are on rise in the district. Noted ANT Surgeon and President of Vidarb Association, Dr. Prashant Nikhare, with lead the task force. The task force has some other experts of the district. They include Dr. Ashish Thul, President of Ophthalmology Association, Dr. Girish Butada, President of Indian Dental Association, Nagpur, Dr. Ram Krishna Shenai, President of Association of Maxillofacial Surgeons, Dr. Ravindra Sarnai, Senior Pulmonologist, Dr. Melin Brushundi, Senior Physician, Dr. Vipin Dehate, Maxillofacial Surgeon, Dr. Melin Changole, Orbit and Occupolosity, Dr. D.V. Paturkar, District Civil Surgeon, Pravin Thakre, DIO, Dr. Deepak Serokar, District Health Officer, will work as Member Secretary. The staff force will stand the administration in good stead in containing cases of micromycosis in the district. Chowler on board, Hyderabad bound Dakshin Express had a lucky escape after crater developed under the track of Nagpur Yard on Thursday. The incident occurred on morning around 9 am when a hole was found in a rail embankment on Itarsi and Primary examination revealed a nearly six feet hole underneath the track due to breaking of some structure. The hole was noticed on the line that is used by trains to roll into platform number one at Nagpur railway station from Itarsi end near the carriage and wagons inspection hut. Around 6 a.m. the earthwork in the particular location loosened perhaps due to two days of successive rain in the city. The bogies, it is last in the platform of the train got jolted but it rolled over without getting derailed. Railway officials repaired the crevice on a war footing and tragedy was fortunately averted. Maharashtra Minister for Energy Project Tanpure visited Khapar Khera Summer Power Plant and took stock of the operations. Later addressing meeting of officials, he exhorted them to complete the task of completing oxygen plant before onset of third wave of novel coronavirus. Oxygen plants at a Pearly Thermal Power Station in Marathwada has been shifted to Ambe Jogai and Barbadi in the first phase of Mahajan Post Mission Oxygen campaign for COVID-19 patients. The minister visited the control room at 500 megawatt set number 5 and learned technical matters from the engineers. Raju Huge, chief engineer, explained various aspects of the power station through computer presentation and said they intend to commission the oxygen plant before May 30. Against the backdrop of the coming monsoon and during the COVID-19 period, the power warriors should pay close attention to ensure uninterrupted power supply to the citizens. Nagpur district continues to require more recovery than daily new cases along with a deep in death and the active cases. After two months, Nagpur district recorded the lowest single day death count as 28 deaths were recorded on Thursday. On March 20, district reported 26 deaths and since then saw an upward trend in death and daily cases. With 3,405 people recovered in a day, the active cases are at 19,246. In a day, 1,151 people were infected with COVID-19 virus since March. This is the first time when Nagpur district recorded the lowest death case in the past 24 hours. In a day, 28 persons died due to coronavirus. Of these, 11 persons were the residents of Nagpur city and rural witnessed eight deaths. Officials are preparing to deal with third wave as cases and casualties due to second wave are subsidized. At least 13 Naxals were killed in an encounter between the 60 unit of Maharashtra police and Naxal since early morning on Friday at Paidi Kotni Forest in Etapali. The 660 unit commandos of Maharashtra police cracked down the Naxal's camp near village. Till now, some weapons, substantial literature and other materials of a daily need from the place have been recovered. According to Sandeep Patel, Deputy Inspector General of Police Garcholi, the operation was a huge success for Maharashtra police and there is a possibility that more Naxals were wiped out in the encounter. We have started the operation a day ago itself after learning about the Maoist presence in forest. So far, 13 bodies have been recovered and search is on, he said. Agencies believe the operation has dealt a significant blow to the naval movement in the area. Dr. Ashok Kumar Joshi, scientist, engineer, National Remote Sensing Center, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO Bangalore, has been appointed as the director of Maharashtra Remote Sensing Application Center, Nagpur. Dr. Subrat Anityanandan Das, scientist, engineer, regional remote sensing center, Nagpur, was relieved from the state government deputation during which he was director of MRSEC at Nagpur. Since March 31, 2020, MRSEC was not having full-time director. DM Kolte, senior resources scientist, MRSEC has been holding additional charge as director. Now, Dr. A.K. Joshi has been appointed as the director of MSRAC. Dr. Joshi has been asked to take charge of the office from June 1st. 
2021. His tenure of deputation to state government will be of two years, stated a government resolution issued by Planning Department of Maharashtra Government on May 19 and signed by the Deputy Secretary. Oh, well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sachi Dikhai, Binachupa.